And the Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has strongly condemned the rape of Waile Omozua. The governor described the act as barbaric and has vowed to thoroughly investigate the incident as well as bring in the perpetrators to book. He made this known during a visit to the presidential villa to brief President Mohamed Buhari on his intention to seek re-election as governor of Edo State. This comes as tension generated by the lingering crisis in the Edo and Ondo State chapter of the All Progressives Congress continues. Um, fortunately, my new commissioner of police just resumed today. I'm going back to Benin, and that will be the first assignment. We must, we must track down the killers because it's gruesome, it's, it's sheer madness. Why would you go to a church and rape a young girl? I mean, it's, it's, just, it's the height of criminality. And um, we, you know, this is one reason why I have decided to contest and ensure that we impose a state of order in Edo and get rid of criminal gangs, even if they are in our politics. Godwin Obaseki, Edo State Governor there. Now let's bring in gender rights advocate Tessie Biobaku, who joins us for more on this development. Uwa's death seems to have taken the issue of rape in Nigeria to yet another gruesome level. Uh, if you look at the circumstances, the fact that she had gone there to read and that a dastardly act had taken place in a church, help us better understand what justice would mean in this case. Well, thanks for having me. Um, you know, yeah, it gets to a point that you're so, you're so hot. You know, when you have this feeling that you are in pain, but you can't even have the tears coming out. I'm a mother and I have three daughters. And I can't imagine how a girl child will go into somewhere she felt she could be safe because she wants to get herself educated. You know, we're caught up in a situation where we're talking about a lot of the girl child, a lot of children out of school, a majority are even in this country. I mean, and then you have someone that is determined to say, I'm going to have a better future. And then just like that, her life is cut short. Mm. Where did she go wrong? The future, what she could have been, her family, is a very sad thing. And it's just, just about Uwa. What about Tina? What about Jennifer that was gang raped? It's high time we understand that the girl child it's not one like a toy to, 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 to toy with. There must be respect for the girl child. It's important. Moving it's forward, Tessie, could it be that we've uh, paid so much attention on the girl child that we forgot to bring up the boy child in the right way? So it does appear that the situation we have here is a girl child in Uwa who has seen the importance and the value in education. But then there's another boy child who wasn't brought up properly. And then this case. I think it has to get to that point of, you know, I think we must have some um, mental awareness, um, especially for teachers that we, we have in school, of course, and also for parents to understand the fact that you must also bring up the boy child in the right way to respect the girls, the girl child, to understand that the girl child is unique in his own way. You know, this gender stereotype about um, the boy child can actually even get away with whatever they do, they are more important, and the girl child is meant to be, you know, caught up with just being there. I mean, maybe she's meant to just be a second fiddle, one way or the other. You know, you're right in that sense that, is it that we have, you know, miss out on how we should bring up the boy child and i think that comes to light that Absolutely. we must see how we can sensitize the boy child to understand mm. that they shouldn't this is not a, 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 a right thing and then they, we must also under, let them understand that there are consequences to it because exactly. this has this is becoming the norm because you know a lot of a lot of it's a good place to leave it, and it's even more sad bearing in mind that the young lady who was sought admission for five years and her life is cut short just at her first year in university. Agenda rights activist Tessie Biobaku, thank you for joining us tonight on TVC News.